Hey folks, today I just wanted to cover literature and some some books that I liked and used to like when I was a kid. But, you know, first of all I want to cover this new book that I just gotten that I ordered called Glory and Greed. It's set in the in the Lone Wolf, Lone Wolf world originally created by Joe Dever. And for those of you who don't know, Lone Wolf was a series of, of choose your own adventure game books or type of choose your own adventure game books set in, you know, made during like the early 80s or something or late 80s or I think. But I'm not exactly sure when, but anyway, the idea was it was kind of like a role playing game which you which was which in this case was a solo game in which you read a kind of like a storybook and and you, ch and you kind of chose what, how the path would go. And sometimes some choices would lead to death, and others would lead to even greater reward, or something like that. But you know, the, back in kind of like the early, the late '80s or '90s, this was these game books were kind of really popular. I don't know why they disappeared, but they were kind of fun when they were around. You know, you had all sorts of stuff from mystical warriors on up to sci-fi adventure. But anyway, I guess some stuff is starting to try and come back. I was able to get this book off of off off of the Mongoose Publishing website, and you know, I tried to get it off uh, Amazon, but for some reason they they kept pushing back the the time it was going to be available when well when it was already available on on mongoose on the mongoose website so woo, slinky slinky find up a wonderful toy I diverse okay <laughs> anyway anyway I've always loved reading and especially fantasy and sci-fi so hey I mean I'm, I'm sure there's others like that other people out there like who like that kind of stories too. <laughs> With the fantasy, I always enjoyed the type that had all the had all the dragons and elves and dwarves and such and such. And sci-fi, kind of like the well, the sci-fi is a mixed bag for me. Most of the time, these sci-fi novels and stories deal with um seem to like to deal with a lot of heavy science like you know the origins of the universe or whatever but really what I want is you know sci-fi with the clashing spaceships like Star Wars but even Star Wars has has been going downhill lately we're <laughs> lately the whole Jedi thing is getting whipped around so hard it's getting turned into a disaster for Skywalker and anywho as for Star Wars itself I think it's time for a major reboot like they did with Batman you know if I did that I would change the whole thing and just first of all I think we need to we would need to lose the whole Messiah complex that George Lucas put in with the pre in the prequels you know lose the whole thing about Anakin not having a, a father and just being birthed by the force, you know We need to make it so that his birth is more earthly in origin or you know more terrestrial or, or whatever And also let's make Anakin and Vader two separate people, you know and Obi-Wan kind of hints that it was two separate people in the first Star Wars movie, but Later on, they make it where Anakin and Vader are the same. But I think that's a load of... You know, I think that was c crazy anyway, so... But, you know, that's, that's just how I would do it. <laughs> and I'd make some more other people different. So I would make Emperor Palp or Palpatine and Darth Sidious two different people also. They wouldn't be the same, but... You know, so Darth Sidious would come first, then <clears throat> then he would take on take on Palpatine as his apprentice, and 
Palpatine would kill Sidious and become the next Sith Lord, and then he would take on Darth Maul, and Darth Maul would be his apprentice until he's killed in by Obi Wan and Qui Gon. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, anywho, it kind of the story goes along that kind of, most of the same, but there's a few differences, such as you know with the Anakin and Vader. <laughs> But, you know, that's just... That's as far as I want to go right now. If you want to know more, just let me know. And I'll tell you more about my idea. So, anyhow... Boop, 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 boop. Alright. Yeah, so anyway... <laughs> I don't know what to say else, but... Oh lordy, I'm I'm lost here. But you know, I'm gonna tell you that I just have a whole lot of ideas for things, and as as time goes by, I'm gonna bring them out one by one onto this onto here. And if you like them, cool. If you don't, well, that's all right. And though, hmm, haha. Anyway, today was the first day it was warm enough for me to get out of the house and. And so I did. Got to go to the library too. Got me some neat books. And that was all good. And went over to Burger King and had me a triple whopper. Sure, wait right away. We do it like you do it. Thank you. Yes, yes indeed. It was a good day. So I'm going to let y'all go for now and talk, talk to y'all later. See you later.